So now that you know what a service connection is, I want to explain one of the weirdest things and, um, and difficult things to wrap your head around when you're first starting with Azure Pipelines is um, this here. In all the tasks the, from Azure, you, you find an input called Azure Subscription and, you, and you're wondering like, why is it called a subscription? Um, and the reason is that in Azure, um, subscriptions are not just billing boundaries, they're also used as governance boundaries. So generally speaking, you will have a production subscription and you'll have a non-production subscription. Uh, I wish we were more consistent in wording, sorry. Uh, but whenever you see Azure subscription in a YAML task, uh, what you wanna do is pass a service connection to it. And this applies for ARM task uh, mostly, but if you click here on this task, I'm just gonna edit it so you can see what it looks like. Um, you can see the scope is subscription and I'm assuming it should be, ah, the resource group is deleted. So that's interesting. This, this uh, service connection should theoretically not work, <laughs> um, but maybe it was automatically added, which actually um, I don't like adding them automatically. Um, the reason being, so I'm gonna diverge. If I come over here back to Azure Active Directory um, and I go down to app registrations, let me look at all my app, uh, registrations. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't like the um, automatic service connections, even if it says recommended in the UI, it's recommended because it's easy. It just generates it for you without you having to think. Um, however, it doesn't scale very well, in my opinion, because you end up in your Active Directory with a bunch of things that look like this. Um, they might have the same name and you can kind of tell, okay, this is for the ADO Gov Demo organization. Project Fruits, and but it doesn't tell me much about what it is, what is it scoped to, what is it doing. Um, there's a bunch of service connections that I created um, that I added manually, although not really because I automated adding them, but you, you get my point. So you see here I have a service connection, which remember it's a credential, so I know it's a service principle because it's dash SP. Um, I know here that this one is for the veggies production, uh, it's just a reader for the key vault, so it can't do anything else. And I can tell that by um, just from looking at its name. And if I were to use all those automatic so recommended um, service connections, I would end up with a bunch of stuff that I don't actually know what it does. Um, so that's, um, I'll leave it up to you to decide what you want to do. But I personally prefer, again, creating the uh, service connections manually. It means you have to manage the credentials, right? You have to remember to rotate them. Um, but, uh, yeah, pick your poison. <laughs>